we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. Okay, coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. As it'll be the first-time champions of the AFC, the Cleveland Browns, taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. Brandon God and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you for this one. And CD, all eyes on the AFC champs. What a story. The Cleveland Browns, their first Super Bowl appearance ever. 0-16 just two seasons ago and now four quarters away from a Super Bowl title. An utterly remarkable turnaround. There's no other way to put it. Fan base, can you imagine how desperate they've been for this day, for this opportunity to come around? You have to go back to 1964 for their last title in the NFL. That's pre-Super Bowl era. They beat the Colts 27 to nothing in that one. Frank Bryan, Jim Brown. These fans are tired of hearing about the past. They're tired of hearing about the All-American Football Conference, how the Browns came into the NFL and blew everyone away. They've got their team now, their time, and they want to win. Meanwhile, the turnaround has been a sharp one for the Chicago Bears. 19-45, and 45. that was their record from 2014 through 17. Then the division title last year, everybody remembers the double doink in the playoffs. But now the Bears are back looking for what would be just their second Super Bowl title. Of course, you know they won plenty of titles prior to the Super Bowl coming into existence. They won eight NFL titles. Who will ever forget Papa Bear, George Hallis leading that franchise. But they have made two appearances in the big game itself. They won Super Bowl 20, pounded the Patriots, one of the most dominant performances we've ever seen. And then they lost to Peyton Manning and the Colts in Super Bowl 41. Can this team do their own Super Bowl shuffle and grab the Lombardi Trophy and bring it back to Chicago? A first down throw from Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Mayfield. 
And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Third and long for Mayfield. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of the Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. So opening drive, third down, they complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it, and receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get do some work afterwards. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? a huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. On third down, Mayfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. 
Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On second down now, it's Cohen. And he's got some space here. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago! With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The Browns drive about to get started. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Shove with a carry on first down. It's not going to yield much. Maybe a yard. It's second down. Kyle Fuller, the one to make the tackle. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick. Landry, the intended target. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. First down, a run with Cohen. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now they'll run it with Cohen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Throwing here, Trubisky. Going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Demarius Randall. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Hit. 
The Browns drive about to get started. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it to the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. He'll be glaring. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. As the Bears push further out in front. Extra point safely through. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Browns drive about to get started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They run. This is Cohen. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. This one into the hands of Burton. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there at a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Switch, switch, switch. Hey, Charlie. Now Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sheldon Richardson forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Now Trubisky on third and long. Flushed out right. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first round pick, Demarius Randall. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. 
Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at the 40. Now a dump off here complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Mayfield now looking sideline incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here's Beckham. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Browns drive about to get started. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Final play of the half, Mayfield. This is the tight end to Joku. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So we've reached halftime here in the 2020 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run on second down with Cohen. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. So that'll back him up five. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Hey, box truck, box truck. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Larry Ogunjobi able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Twelve yards on the return that time. And the Browns will take over first and ten. The Browns drive about to get started. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Mike is 59. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Go. From just shy of midfield, Mayfield trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game, and so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here we go. Here we go. Check. Crunch. 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 Alert, 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 alert. He's lucky. Check, check, check. Slam, slam. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. Now it's Trubisky. Dancing to his left. 
He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down, it's Cullen, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. Flush to his right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Miles Garrett able to get him for a loss of about three. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Check 26, check 26. Move, move, move. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you stop the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Olivier Vernon coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So with that, you figure now yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The Browns drive about to get started. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, he finds his target, Beckham. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Mayfield now, 8 of 17 so far, so under 50%, but he's got a first and 10. Now here's a throw, and that's Taewon Taylor with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards to pick up there, good for a Cleveland first. Mayfield with it once more. It's caught by OBJ. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Mayfield now for the 50. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. Mayfield now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Mayfield, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Out, 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 out. 
They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. I can't believe they even from the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 13-yard line. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Working out of the gun, Mayfield toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just hey, incomplete that time. Hey, hey, we Hey, defense, let's go. A second down throw for Mayfield. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. It's caught Beckham. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Less than two minutes remain here in Super Bowl 54. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mayfield to throw for it on four. And my goodness, another interception. Eddie Jackson picks it. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Trying to get it to Landry there. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Tariq Cohen with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl as the Bears push further out in front. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. The Browns drive about to get started. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. To throw again on second down. Mayfield. They'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Chubb with a first down. Carry as he'll get about three out of it. Make it second and seven coming up. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Following the penalty, it's first and five. And you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. From the gun, Mayfield. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A nice gain of 21 yards. And 
just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little lead and yeah, a little extra on top. The extra point up and good, but this one was decided anyway, as that will be the final action in this ballgame. And the Chicago Bears.